What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, mm -hmm. I love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your bay leaf. Okay, I just heard Snapple. <laughs> your gin, your Patron, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I am running a $50 personal reading special. Cash out me and then email me. If you're part of the members only community, your personals right now are going for 35 bucks. All right, guys, that's all the announcement. The first energy you're pulling is number 10, giving and receiving here. Okay. So I feel like you're walking into a phase of your life where, you know, you're looking for something back, Scorpio. Um, with the number 10, it's letting me know that you're coming to some type of difficult ending here. Um, this could be a divorce. This could just be you cutting a lot of people off that no longer serve you. This could be you resigning from a job you worked years on that's no longer facilitating what you need. Um, yeah, for a lot of you Scorpios, you're just having an awakening about how much time and energy and things that you poured into other people. The number 40 could be very significant. Feel like you're giving birth to your ideas you're giving birth to you know like pretty much you're unbothered and you want to live your life simple yeah miracles i love it you want to just live a simple life stress-free number 42 could be significant you're not trying to um you know force anybody to be with you you're not trying to change anybody's life you just want to change and be the best version of you you're realizing what you're realizing, Scorpio, is that you're so much better than what they say. You're so much better than they are. You know, your ways are not like their ways. You just stay in your own lane and you're peaceful, you're happy. Look at the dolphins. I'm hearing a lot of good luck is coming your way as well. Good karma. Good karma is coming your way, Scorpio. Because I feel like you, you're a giver, Scorpio. I feel like you've always given. And God is saying this is a season of you giving or taking. It just depends on what side you've been on. If you want the miracles and you've been taking, now it's time to give. If you want the awakening, it's time to take. <laughs> it's just down there. But one more and we're going to get started. Okay. Alchemy, yeah. I feel like... Alchemy talks about balance. I feel like you've learned how to live with your royal self. <laughs> yeah, you got storms in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. And that's just what I'm getting. I feel like Scorpio is so misunderstood. Everybody think they got us figured out, but we don't even have us figured out, right? We're still going through, you know, life's journey as well. But we go through different than you guys. We change often. We die to self a lot. All right, this giving and receiving too is giving me like a group of people. Um, this could be a job or it could be family. I feel like a lot of jealousy and envy around whatever this opportunity is or was for you here. Something I feel like somebody either was alkylating you, honoring you. Giving you some type of nice gifts or something. I feel like the family is jealous and envious of your come up. Whatever this is, though, I feel like you've been doing it a long time and you should be more celebrated here. Yeah, somebody is quitting their job. Somebody is quitting their marriage, too, is what I'm getting. Because somebody wasn't getting and giving and receiving. Yeah, the five of wands in reverse is like... You don't want to fight for it anymore, Scorpio. You know it's not working. I feel like, too, this person want to be somewhere else, or you do, Scorpio. I feel like y'all felt this way a long time. You just didn't get a divorce. All right, why is giving and receiving here for Scorpio? 
So the first card out is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, it's it's just like I said. It's like, it's just two cards. Oh, one, give me one second. Scorpio feel like two, yeah. So you pull the Ace of Wands. Whoa. The Star. The Wheel of Fortune. I can't make this up. Listen, guys. When I tell y'all, when I be telling y'all to cash out shit, it's not for me, bro. I'm telling y'all, these are these are little things that help y'all get get through these 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 tough times, bro. These are these miracles. These are these special portals God set aside for you to get through what you're getting through. And y'all won't even y'all look the high priestess. I wish I could make this shit up. Y'all know I'm for real, for real with it. The wheel of fortune, the high priestess, the star. The Ace of Wands, come on, that ain't nothing but blessings on top of blessings, but it's it's got to do with give and take, not just take, not just give. Which side are you on? That's why you haven't had your breakthrough. You so scared you're going to break through for somebody else. I'm just being real. Come on, we we have priestesses, guys. We got, to, we got to be more emotionally intelligent than that, just period. We got to know which side our butter bread, um, butter is... Um, Bread is buttered on. Look at that, me. My throat chakra is going crazy. All right. Why is the awakening here? I feel like a lot of y'all are just choosing a different path. It ain't so much that you leaving the person behind or leaving groups of people. It's just that you're on a different path. You're on a different journey. You realize you stayed too long somewhere or this is no longer facilitating you. Yeah. The moon coming out in the reverse. So a lot of clarity. I feel like I feel like something very emotional happened to you to move you forward or to have you um have this awakening with the moon in reverse. I feel like you found out something, yeah. Probably a third party situation, the lovers coming up in the reverse with the moon. So it's been revealed that a third party situation was going on in your family dynamic. Yeah, you're the empress here. That's why that that's why you're that's why you're on there looking pregnant. <laughs> Y'all may hear news of pregnancy. Some of you guys could be pregnant. I'm feeling like pregnant with a lot of new ideas here. The Five of Pentacles is here, though. I feel like a lot of you guys hadn't set yourself free yet, though. You haven't released this ex or this job. You know, it's almost like you're still kind of attached to it. But with the Five of Pentacles here, I feel like... I feel like you you know you're on the right path. I feel like you don't regret anything except the fact that you having to leave people behind. But it's not like you're doing it directly. It's just you're on a different you you're going a different way. I feel like you're being your third eye is open. I feel like with the high priestess here, you're really following your intuition. You're not allowing love or anything like that getting in. in in the way of your spiritual life. I feel like you're focusing a lot more on spirituality now, Scorpio, because you realize that in the spiritual realm is, you know, where a lot of things happen before it, it, it hits earth here. And I feel like you're focusing more on your spirituality than anything else, than connections here in this in this journey. Why is miracles here for Scorpio? What are the miracles? The two of pentacles, yeah, balance, give and take. That's why the miracles are coming in. Yeah, the five of swords in reverse. You know, Scorpio, everybody not going to be happy for you. Everybody, you know, you seem mostly as like the underdog. So when a miracle happens, you know, everybody not going to be happy. A lot of people going to be envious, jealous, okay? People want to wonder how you left your job or your husband and you still, you know, maintaining your bills, your house. Ain't nobody came and pulled up and took nothing. You look good every day. You come out the door and go to work. I mean, it's like, who is this? This aggravating somebody demons, though, that it ain't take you down or take you fucking out. This group of people or whatever this was thought they was going to take you out and it flipped. It went totally the diff a whole nother way. Yeah, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Somebody lost a lot of money, they bet wrong. Somebody lost a lot of time too, they bet wrong. 
This Queen of Wands, King of Wands keep wanting to come out. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here on Miracles for Scorpio? Yeah, the Two of Swords in reverse. I feel like, you know, Scorpio, it's like a lot of a lot of beliefs, thinking, thinking. This is self-doubt, too. You had to leave behind in order to get these miracles. So it's not like you finna let no fucking gold-digging Queen of Pentacles evil bitch come and try to stop your miracles. That's what somebody trying to do here. This is somebody who's doing witchcraft again. On miracles. You doing witchcraft on a miracle? Like, come on. Are you fucking crazy? And then you sitting here like, this is the biggest decision you had to make to betray me? The sun, that shit made you happy. You just got exposed. That shit made you happy to be able to do that. This Judas energy to me. Somebody who will kiss you right on the fucking cheek and tell, to alert the police that you the person they looking for. Yeah, I, I mean, you just, you're emotionally intelligent now, Scorpio, and you're tapping into your gifts. You're not about to be a part of anything that's not serving you. And if you want to change paths and go another way and this person can't keep up or that's not their path, then oh well. Serenaro, Serenaro, whatever you call it, I see you. Adios, amigos. I see you in the next lifetime. I feel like with the alchemy card being here, Scorpio, you, you've, you've, Lost a lot of shit in your life. So you look at miracles and balance and alchemy totally different than other people. The Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress Energy. You are the alchemist. You are why shit get better. The Eight of Pentacles, you're the master. You master spirituality or whatever this is. You could be a guru, psychic medium, all of the clairs here, okay, being represented. Yeah, because they're going to magician. Yeah, somebody's a dark witch here in Scorpio. You could be a light witch. You could be somebody who just do shit to, you know, like keep your finances good and keep your um, energies balanced and things like that. But this person, a dark witch, they, they do shit to hinder people's lives. Two minutes, Scorpio. Why is the magician here? I feel like you manifested peace in your life, Scorpio. Yeah, the seven of cups in reverse. This this whole reading is talking about, you know, how you how you have options now. I feel like you've been restricted. You could have been in a stalemate, feeling cold, closed off, you know, ever since you were in this connection. But it seems like since you broke free from this, some of y'all, this ain't happened yet. Some of y'all still battling with it. But you're going to feel so free once you do. That's just how you're going to feel. You're going to feel like, why didn't I do this so long ago? Well, I'll tell you why you didn't have the faith to do it, for one. But with the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, you're finally walking away from it. You know that there's something better for you, Scorpio. You're not going to just keep settling for somebody to treat you fucked up and, you know, or somebody not to... Uh, honor you and pay you what you deserve, you know, and people come in after you getting paid more money and, you know, this person treating other women better than they treat you and you married to them, all this stupid ass shit, it's like, I'm done. You can take that cold, barbaric ass shit over there with, with somebody else, I'm done, you can have it. What are the messages here, the additional messages for Scorpio? But this person is a narcissist. They want to stay attached to you. If this is a business, they want to give you more money. But the thing about it is, Scorpio, it's time for you to move. It's time for movement. That's the whole thing. Like, it's time for you to go. Okay? That's just that on that shit. It says, get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. It's time to go, Scorpio. Move it is what I got from that. It says you equal tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. I don't think you're trying to. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Move in silence, Scorpio. It says you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it, period. And that's what you that's why you took your power back. You leaving whatever the fuck this is. It says don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards, yeah. Like I said, you're dealing with some outdated thinking or some like thinking that don't that no longer serves you as well here. 
Source is saying, lighten the fuck up, Scorpio. Like, when did you start, you know, being this person of doubt? You are a badass. You always have been. Listen to your intuition here is what I'm hearing. Every single day, all fucking day, you are the high priestess. You walked away from something. And I feel like a lot of y'all are going to walk away. I keep saying it. I told y'all in the videos probably last year that they're going to, when you get ready to walk away, they're going to sweeten the deal. Some of y'all going to go, some of y'all right now are connected with people that dragged you and took you through so much shit to when you really, that last time when you really were about to leave their ass after 15 years of your life, they straighten up. And now you stuck with somebody you hate. Yeah, they'll never cheat on you again. Yeah, they're home by eight. Everything you ever wanted, Scorpio, but you don't you don't desire them. You don't have passion for them. And this and this turns into hate. And that's what's going on with a lot of people right now that's in these 13, 15, 16, 25 year relationships. Moving forward. Messages for Scorpio. So the first energy out is in the near future. Yeah, I feel like a lot of, um, I'm hearing an opportunity about something in the medical profession. So if somebody has been waiting for nursing school or been waiting for some type of class or not been able to get into class, I'm hearing this coming about so you can go ahead and move into your new career here. For some of you guys, you're going to be changing Careers, you're going to be going from like a structured career to like you're going to be going from corporate to something more like creative, something more passion built. Your forgiveness is here. Forgive yourself, Scorpio, or whoever needs to be forgiven for you to move forward. Because look, it says don't stop. That, that caboose is going to keep on going for Scorpio. It says remain positive at all times. You know that faith without works is dead. And look. You keep doing that, big happy changes are coming. That's what they know. That's what everybody envious about. And you got weight in the reverse. Whoever the fuck trying to stop you from doing what God ordained for you to do is being reversed back to them. They ass ain't going to be able to get off the couch. I'm telling you, this retrograde been hectic. I feel it. Bad, bad. Remain positive, Scorpio, and don't stop. Don't give up. Keep going. Because in the near future, something is about to pop in your favor. Very good. For all the discipline, you know, you've shown, all the shit that you come from, man, please, you've been through a lot and you don't even look like it. I'll take those three. On the bottom of the deck, you have Jaguar energy. Yeah, I love that energy. You're a survivor, you're a fighter, and you're beautiful. The drum, <laughs> I love this. Your ancestors are saying, come, come to the light, Caroline. You have many paths. Choose either one of them. Just don't stop and keep going, Scorpio, is what I'm hearing. You can't fuck this up. Either way you want to go, go wide. The owl, you're wise. Your ancestors are watching over you. They're guiding you. You can't fuck it up. Yeah, why? The curse has been broken. It's returned back to center. Any curse somebody put on you or tried to put on you, it's over. It's returned back to sender already. They already, these people are already living in this misery. Let me see. Let's get you a crystal here, Scorpio, because I feel like you need to wear something close to your body. It's certain crystals I bathe with. I just have them in the bottom of the tub. They're infused, of course, by me and charged by me. And... That's what gives me my strength, and that's what gives me my cleanses, okay? So something something has been broken here, but I feel like for the next seven days, you guys need to sage your house, and I feel like you need to wear a crystal on your person, like in your pocket, around your neck, earrings, or something that's like a constant reminder of how blessed you are, all right? Because you're highly protected already. You don't need anything for protection. But these big happy changes, they're having to press. It, it, it almost feels like you, it almost feels like the faith is there and a little bit a little bit of work, but not enough. So that's why Source is saying keep going, don't stop. What's the crystal here for Scorpio? 
Morganite relationship healing. Mm-hmm. I can't make this shit up. So for a lot of you Scorpios, get Morganite. That's what I'm hearing for relationship healing. And under here it has Caxonite. And that is for new beginnings here. Hold on, Scorpio. Sorry about that, Scorpio. And the um I guess this is Caucasonite for new beginnings here. So Morganite and Coxonite. I feel like that's something y'all could wear on your person to like protect you, bring you good luck, the new beginnings, healing to your heart about certain things that you went through here. I'm gonna get one more here. Oracle, and then we're gonna get out of here, Scorpio. Yeah, whatever the storms of life you've been through, Scorpio, the storms are past you now. Now you just have to have faith that it's coming in and you have to work. And you're led to give, give. All right, let's see what the last oracle message is here. Yeah, the fates. I can't make this shit up. That's your overall energy. Everything that's happened to Scorpio is faded. That's why we can forgive. That's why we don't hold grudges because it's no other way it would it could have been played out for us. All right. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is blessed. That's just that on fucking that. We're blessed. We're highly favored. With the fates, you got the book. Yeah. Everything with you was scripted. It had to be by the book. How how God orchestrated it. The observer. People on the outside looking in, they don't even know what the fuck going on. They just speaking on some shit. Who? The community in reverse. The community you walking away from. Whatever this is. Whoever this group of people is. Why? Because you're walking towards your soulmate. People that are like-minded. People that like the same shit you like. People that... Do the same type of things you do. And what does it say? No place like home. You're finding home, Scorpio. That's where God is sending you home. To, to places and people and things that agree with Scorpio. Like I said, you have many paths. You're wise. But the drum... The drum has been beat, Scorpio. Like, them tribal drums. What I used to hear when I used to sit here in the train. Why? Because the curse bird broke. It's over with. No more stinking thinking. No more... You know, allowing people to breadcrumb you. No more breadcrumbing people either. If you want a blessing, you got to be a blessing. We all know that. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.